sorry, that would that's for a Democrat show. Let me know when you're ready. No matter what the technical difficulty is, this man is a professional. He goes all the way. What you represent to them is freedom. Was an extremely great conservative commentator. We're tearing it up on Wednesday night. This is awesome. This will allow me to retort. Well, this is Jersey Joe for uh, the Reverb Common Sense Show. 8 p.m. on shrmedia.com. Actually, I just totally screwed up. This show contains language that some viewers may find offensive. Listener discretion is advised. And now on to the show. And welcome to the Reverb Common Sense. I am your host, Jersey Joe, and I'm trying to make sense out of the senseless. The Jersey Takeover is here. We have expanded it at two hours every Monday through Friday, 11 a.m. to 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Uh, do you want a kick-ass t-shirt? I'm always looking for some great t-shirts. Go to Reverb.one and click on the shop button. And it's it's absolutely mayhem with the fake news coming out nowadays. The left cried about fake news, but they're the biggest pusher of fake news anymore. Um, you can't even keep up with it anymore. It's absolutely ridiculous. It, it, I'm just taken back by the idiocy of the left. On this next bit of, uh, well, the first bit of news, I should say, that we're going to go over, it's <clears throat> kind of uh, a little close to home. And... Uh, it, it's... I'm glad to see that this person is suspended. Very much so. Um, I don't think you could do your job properly on being arrested. Uh, It gives a poor image. But a Virginia firefighter is under fire after arrest for anarchist violence and D.C. inauguration protests. See, uh, and it's not that she, um, I believe it's a she. Yeah, Rosa. It's not that she protested. It's the fact that she was a part of a group that was destroying property, setting fires, Right there, as a firefighter, you're part of a group that is committing arson. That that is like dumbass extreme. I'm still, gee, I'm a firefighter, and um, I'm going to sit back and be with this group and we're going to set fires and everything's going to be okay in my world. Idiot. Idiot. Well, Rosa, Ron Clays, I think it is. Ron Kelly's, whatever, has been placed on administrative duties after being arrested on inauguration day which is never a good thing when you're a firefighter. Uh, and was charged with felony rioting, causing damage in, in excess of a hundred thousand dollars. That uh, it just <laughs> I was a rebellious little teenager. Okay, I was very rebellious. 
I almost got kicked out of my firehouse because I had long hair. I almost got kicked out because of the image I portrayed. You know, I'm not bitching about it. I understand why. It taught me a lot. I also learned if I want to be treated with respect, I need to look appropriate. <clears throat> now, the funny part is right now, my daughter, she's 13. She's in sixth grade. And uh, she wanted to do something different with her hair. So we did like two little purple strips. She's got dark brown hair, almost, yeah, brown hair. Dark, dark. And uh, she wanted to see what it would look like to have like two purple strips, like highlights. Literally just two. So we went and did it. I think it looks really neat. Um, everybody's like, oh my God, you let her do it. I'm like, she's a kid. Of course. That's different. <clears throat> now, that has a lot of difference. Then when you're an adult which I was at that time, you need to look the part. You need to look like you are a respectable and responsible person. Um, just, I'm watching the protests that are going on. My blood pressure is fucking boiling. Oh. We'll get all to that in a minute. Uh. Um. So what happened with this uh, 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 dumbass? And let me tell you, getting a job as a firefighter is a special job. It's a special feeling. And to do something so blatantly, obviously stupid to ruin your career, well, shows you just how much of a special idiot this person is. I, I, I'm still. Don't you hate it when you almost got a sneeze and then it goes away? Oh, I got pissed at my wife this weekend. I had a really big sneeze coming. And she kept doing the God bless you before. And next thing you know, the sneeze went away and it freaking hurt. Oh, I was pissed. I hate that when people do that. <clears throat> Um, oh, it's to be a dumbass and <clears throat> pretty much. It's a good chance through your career away <clears throat> so that you can go destroy stuff. You know, as a firefighter doing overhaul, you get to destroy a lot of things. If you don't know what overhaul is, look it up. After a fire, you have to rip ceilings, walls, so forth and so on out of the house because you need to make sure that there's no fire. Anything that's smoldering needs to be taken out of the house, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, I'm still just, holy shnikes. How dumb can you be? Uh, 
I'm just. <laughs> Let me sit back and destroy my career. All right, I, I got to get off the subject of this one. All right, let's get to the, the, the meat of the subject that's going on. But first, let's take a little trip in time. Let's go back to 2011. Obama spend, suspends Iraq refugee program for six months over terrorism fear. In 2013, ABC News first revealed that two years earlier, the State Department had imposed a freeze over processing Iraqi refugees for six months. The halt was the result of discovery of two Al-Qaeda members admitted as refugees from Iraq who were living in Bowling Green, Kentucky, who had admitted to targeting U.S. troops in Iraq. The network also cited FBI agents conceding that several dozen suspected terrorist bomb makers, including some believed to have targeted American troops, may have mistakenly been allowed to move to the United States as war refugees. ABC News reported on the six-month refugee freeze. As a result of the Kentucky case, the State Department stopped processing Iraq refugee for six months in 2011. Even for many who are heroically helped U.S. forces as interpreters and intelligent assets, Trump's executive order visas, or excuse me, halts visas for 90 days for immigrants and non-immigrants from Syria, Somalia, Sudan, Libya, Yemen, Iran, Iraq. The executive order further suspended the entry of all refugees for 120 days. And definitely blocks Syrian refugees from entering and lowers the ceiling to 50,000 for refugees allowed to enter the United States during fiscal year 2017. This is not a permanent ban. This is not a Muslim ban. Let me rephrase that or restate it. This is not a Muslim ban as the mainstream fake news media is telling you. Because if this was a Muslim ban, we would be banning some other countries that are higher up on the list of Muslim population. And the top 10... Iran is the only one in the top 10 at number six. At number six. Not number one, not number two, number six. So if he was out to ban Muslims, what really makes me annoyed, and I'm going to be saying it quite often today, he ran his campaign on doing this. He ran his campaign on doing this. He got elected on that he was going to do this. And now people are shocked. Oh, my God. And that's why I'm really, oh, my God, a politician is upholding exactly what he said during his campaign. He 
he is upholding everything he said he was going to do in his campaign. That's a new one. How dare he? How dare he do what he said he was going to do? That's what really has me. It, it, people are shocked. Oh, my God. He's doing exactly what he said he was going to do. And now they got to twist the facts to try to fit their storyline, fit their fake news. I'm just... Like Sears? You're going to throw a hissy fit because you do it? And it's not like, as I just pointed, it took take a trip in time. Obama did this. Did we hear any of the actors, actresses, those snobbish elite little pricks say a fucking word to Obama? Oh, no. They didn't dare speak out against their king. I am not impressed one bit. Oh, some elitist little... God, the thing I hate, though, is these celebrities opening their goddamn mouth as I'm going to start running out of shows to watch. I'm not doing bands. I'm just, I, I'm not going to um, waste my time. With them, it's my right. If they piss me off, I don't have to watch their programs. It's exactly what I'm doing of late. Pretty soon they're going to help me big time on my bills because I'm going to be able to cancel my cable bill. That's how little I'm watching it anymore. I really cannot be bothered with these idiots. It's they have to spread lies about it too. I mean, oh, it's a Muslim ban, it's a Muslim ban, it's a Muslim ban. No, it isn't, it's not permanent. We have an issue with our, our vetting that we have to pay attention to. We have to just, I don't, we'll get into it more. You're listening to the Reaver of Common Sense right here on SHR Media and HPDailyNews.com. We will be right back. Listening to the SHR Media Network. Breaking news. According to the latest report coming out of SHR Media, a merchandise store to support both the Reaver of Common Sense and SHR Media has just been unleashed to the general public. 
Be forewarned that this site can be contagious and numerous items can be purchased to support the best news programming. Go to Reaver.one website and click on the store link to check out the merchandise. We were calling Sands, hosted by my dad, Jersey Joe. Beware, the Jersey Takeover is here. Every Monday through Friday, 11 a.m. to 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, you can catch the Reaver of Common Sense Show, hosted by Jersey Joe. Right here on shrmedia.com and hyphensdailynews.com. Only Jersey can deliver hell like no one else. So consider this your fair warning. In a world controlled by corrupt politicians. You got a business. That You didn't build that. A team of ordinary men emerge from the ashes to give voice to the voiceless and hope to the hopeless. Sackhead Sean. Dude, I'm not saying Cat from the stupid pro. Sackhead Clint. All good friends of ours usually show, show up drunk. drunk. Also starring Sako as the producer. I'm a little bit drunk, I'm a little bit drunk, cause I'm drinking, drinking, drinking. They are the Sackheads Radio Show. Every Wednesday at 8 p.m. Pacific on shrmedia.com. Every Wednesday night, 8 p.m. to 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, you can catch the Southside Mutt Show with its hosts, the Jersey Boys, Jersey Joe and Crash, right here on SHR Media and High Plains Pundit Radio, where we will be digging up the dirt. Times are dark. The people misled by corrupt politicians, lied to by establishment media, and deceived by the false messages of Islam. A nation in confusion needs a guide. It needs a man with a cane. I'm Dave Milner. Join me on Spreaker, SHR Media, High Plains Talk Radio, Live Rebooting Liberty, and YouTube for a unique brand of commentary on the Unpleasant Blind Guy. Because truth is not always pleasant. If you miss a show, don't worry. You can catch the replays two ways, RebootingLiberty.com or the ReverbCommonSense.com. While you're there on Reverb Common Sense, don't forget, drop in your email and keep up to date on everything going on, or click the like button on the Facebook widget. Now on to the Reverb of Common Sense. Listening to the SHR Media Network. This show contains language that some viewers may find offensive. Listener discretion is advised. And now on to the show. And welcome back to the Reaver of Common Sense. I am your host, Jersey Joe, and I'm trying to make sense out of the senseless. Oh god. It's It's nuts. I tell you it's nuts. And it's I don't know this whole bullshit that's going on it's crazy um we have been allowing anybody just to walk in here and now we're trying to straighten things out. And it doesn't help with the bullshit fake news. It, 
it. Oh, it's absolutely. <clears throat> I, I'm at a I'm at a loss for words. I really am because it, it because if it wasn't for lies right now, the left wouldn't have shit. What would they have? <clears throat> they wouldn't have anything to talk about, would they? Absolutely unbelievable. Uh, um, now I'm, I'm going to go over this next thing because, well, we're going to get back to the, this is going to be part of the Muslim ban. Actually, this is the Muslim ban. I'm sorry. I had confused it with a section later on about Obama's lies because Bill Mather's talked about how Obama's lies were normal, acceptable presidential lies as compared to Trump. But this is some inconvenient facts about Trump's refugee actions. Number one, it is not a Muslim ban. Let me say that again, just in case anybody wasn't listening. It is not a Muslim ban. They could say it all they want. It does not make it true. And it's, CNN still slips the phrase, Muslim majority countries in every article about the order. You have politicians that are running around. It's a Muslim ban. They try to. They tried it. They try. Uh, um, it, 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 they keep trying. To push that it's a Muslim ban to make it unaccept unacceptable. And, of course, we got Graham and McCain. I wish they would just switch over to the Democrat Party already because they are not Republican whatsoever. Those two are so butthurt over Trump. It's not funny. Oh, no, a Syrian Christian family has been turned away at Philadelphia Airport. A Christian family. There was less threats when it came to the Iraq 
ban from Obama than there is today. But that doesn't fit the narrative. So they remain quiet. Oh my god, it it hurts my head. It really does. I, I, um... And I've said it, the majority, the largest Muslim majority countries in the world are not named in the executive orders. More countries may be added to this. This is from intel from Obama. That's what's funny. This is Obama's intel. This is based on security reviews conducted by President Barack Obama's deputies. The seven nations named in Trump's executive order are drawn from the Terrorist Prevention Act of 2015, the 2015 Visa Waiver Program Improvement and Terrorist Travel Prevention Act of 2015, named Iraq, Iran, Sudan, Syria, while its 2016 update added Libya, Somalia, and Yemen. As Kelly Conway said, these are countries that have a history of training, harboring, exporting terrorists. And we can't keep pretending and looking the other way. These, I guess banned for a better word, is is largely temporarily. Most of it is for 90 days while they go over the vetting process. We know there's holes in the vetting process, so we're going to hold up. And the kids, the kids, how dare we do it, the kids. I've heard that so many times. And ISIS is using the kids. I love it when the Democrats don't get their way, all of a sudden it's the kids. Even though they love to have these kids aborted, now they want to worry about the kids. The left only worries about the children when it suits them. So please, I don't take your rhetoric about the kids. A child was turned away, a refugee child. All these other countries have taken refugees in. We haven't taken our fair share. Who gives a shit? Who gives a shit? If those countries want to jump off a cliff, by all means, go ahead. By all means, those countries can do whatever the fuck they want. I don't know who the actor was in my country, in my America. We lead the way. We do not follow. In my America, because they love doing that now, my America, in my country, my America. In my America, we worry about the security of our people before we worry about other people I want to know how many of these elitist snobbish little oh I'm going to hold my tongue now on celebrities are opening their houses for these refugees How about they unlock their doors and gates and let anybody come walking into their houses? 
oh, no, we can't have that. They got to live in their gated community away from everybody. When they start opening their gates and doors, they could tell me how to run the country. When they start letting anybody near them. Then come talk to me. Because, well, you know, I'm a refugee of life. Life's not treating me fair, and it's being very uh, violent to me. So I want to go to their houses as sanctuaries. They got nice houses. It doesn't seem like they have a lot of uh, uh, problems, and life's treating them pretty good. So I want to have sanctuary, sanctuary from life, and I want to be a refugee, and they have to take me in. They sit behind their walls, safe. They sit behind their security, safe. Fuck everybody else. Well, Hollywood, your schnobbish ways are going to catch you right in your ass because you become poor just as we are. You can lose that elitist status just as quick as you found celebrity status. Obama banned immigration for my Iraq. You didn't say a goddamn thing. Democrat, mind you. Carter banned Iran. Nobody said a goddamn thing. Everybody praised that as well as they should have. Obama hid the fact that he did his ban. Um, Obama took six months to review screening for one country. Trump will take three months for seven countries. Oh, by the way, Trump's refugee caps are comparable to Obama's pre-2016 practice. Now let's uh, David French, who was touted as a spoiler candidate to keep Donald Trump out of the White House. Hello, Kel. Well, he wrote a lengthy and clear-headed analysis of the executor, ex- uh, executive order for national review. He noted after the memorandum, more tr- after the order ends in 20, 120 days. Damn it, Kel, you come on, and now I start stammering and stuttering. Trump caps refugee em- emissions at 50,000 per year, which is roughly the same as President Obama's emissions in 2011 and 2012. And not far below the 70,000 per year cap in place from 2013 to 2015. Obama had fairly low caps on refugees during the worst years of the Syrian civil war. He didn't throw open the doors to massive refugees emissions until his final year in office. Trump's doing nothing more. He's doing nothing more than returning emissions to normal levels after a four months pause for security reviews. That's the, it, this is just so that they can go over the vetting process and go over who's coming in and just get a handle on stuff. And all these cocksucking celebrities open your houses up to anybody, not just refugees, anybody. 
Let them walk in and out of your house at will. Then come talk to me. Otherwise, I don't want to hear your mouth. I really don't. You're listening to the Reaver of Common Sense right here on SHR Media. HP Daily News. Dot com, and we will be right back. Conservative media done right. You're listening to the SHR Media Network. breaking news according to the latest report coming out of shr media a merchandise store to support both the reaver of common sense and shr media has just been unleashed to the general public be forewarned that this site can be contagious and numerous items can be purchased to support the best news programming go to reaver.one website and click on the store link to check out the merchandise We were a common sense hosted by my dad, Jersey Joe. Beware, the Jersey Takeover is here. Every Monday through Friday, 11 a.m. to 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, you can catch the Reaver of Common Sense show hosted by Jersey Joe. Right here on shrmedia.com and highplainsdailynews.com. Only Jersey can deliver hell like no one else. So consider this your fair warning. In a world controlled by corrupt politicians. You got a business. That You didn't build that. A team of ordinary men emerge from the ashes to give voice to the voiceless and hope to the hopeless. Sackhead Sean. Dude, I'm not saying cat from the stupid pro. Sackhead Clint. All good friends of ours usually show, show up drunk. drunk. Also starring Sako as the producer. I'm a little bit drunk, I'm a little bit drunk, cause I'm drinking, drinking, drinking. They are the Sackheads Radio Show. Every Wednesday at 8 p.m. Pacific on shrmedia.com. Every Wednesday night, 8 p.m. to 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, you can catch the Southside Mutt Show with its hosts, the Jersey Boys, Jersey Joe and Crash, right here on SHR Media and High Plains Pundit Radio, where we will be digging up the dirt. Times are dark. The people misled by corrupt politicians, lied to by establishment media, and deceived by the false messages of Islam. A nation in confusion needs a guide. It needs a man with a cane. I'm Dave Milner. Join me on Spreaker, SHR Media, High Plains Talk Radio, Live Rebooting Liberty, and YouTube for a unique brand of commentary on the Unpleasant Blind Guide. Because truth is not always pleasant. If you miss a show, don't worry. You can catch the replays two ways, RebootingLiberty.com or the TheReverbCommonSense.com. While you're there on Reverb Common Sense, don't forget, drop in your email and keep up to date on everything going on, or click the like button on the Facebook widget. Now on to the Reverb of Common Sense. This show contains language that some viewers may find offensive. Listener discretion is advised. 
And now on to the show. And welcome back to the Reaver of Common Sense. Hang on. Even after, I haven't talked about it yet, uh, the mosque shooting in Quebec. Um, there is people because it's not a lot of information has been put out, but uh, there's some idiot. It's got to be a white man. There seems to be a pattern here. It's a fucking Muslim that shot up a mosque from Morocco. As Kel posted in the um, chat room, it seems to be savage on savage attack. Oh, the fucking idiot. I, 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 um, I'm absolutely amazed. Uh, Um. <sighs> this is Uh, oh my my head's actually hurting. It really is. The stupidity of these people. The left wants it to be white conservative so bad that it it it, 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 it they drool over it. They dream about it. These fucking idiots. It's unbelievable. It really is. I, I'm, I'm amazed how much the left just ignores reality. They talk about fake news. They are fake news. And it seems to be a dispute between the two fat... the two factions of Muslims between Sunni and uh, Shiite. I don't really want to go over this too much because it's the same bullshit over and over. And I wouldn't be surprised if it was the same goddamn faction and they're trying to get um, sympathy. And they've done that time and time again, giving up false flags. So 22 years ago, in a State of the Union address, President Bill Clinton, quote, all Americans are rightfully disturbed by the number of illegal aliens entering our country. That's why our administration has moved aggressively to secure our borders more by hiring a record number of new border guards, by deporting twice as many criminal aliens as ever before, by cracking down on illegal hiring, 
by barring welfare benefits to illegal aliens. In the budget, I will present, we will try to do more to speed the deportation of illegal aliens who are arrested for crimes to better identify illegal aliens in the workplace. It's the hypocrisy just is overwhelming. In fact, you know what? Here, so you don't have to take my word for it. Where's the damn sound? What the heck's going on? All Americans, not only in the states most heavily affected, but in every place in this country, are rightly disturbed by the large numbers of illegal aliens entering our country. The jobs they hold might otherwise be held by citizens or legal immigrants. The public service they use impose burdens on our taxpayers. That's why our administration has moved aggressively to secure our borders more by hiring a record number of new border guards by deporting twice as many criminal aliens as ever before, by cracking down on illegal hiring, by barring welfare benefits to illegal aliens. In the budget I will present to you, we will try to do more to speed the deportation of illegal aliens who are arrested for crimes, to better identify illegal aliens in the workplace as recommended by the commission headed by former Congresswoman Barbara Jordan. We are a nation of immigrants, but we are also a nation of laws. It is wrong and ultimately self-defeating for a nation of immigrants to permit the kind of abuse of our immigration laws we have seen in recent years, and we must do more to stop it. Simple and easy. So where was the rhetoric about Bill Clinton? Where was all the hoopla about Bill Clinton? Yeah, you won't hear it because, well... It was an issue. Democrats actually worried a little bit at that time about the American citizen. Now, they couldn't give a rat's ass about us. I know I'm jumping on subject, but I'm showing the hypocrisy and the idiocy that is the left. It's an absolute joke. An absolute joke. When the left does it, perfectly acceptable. It is disgusting, uh, the fake news that is coming out in droves, droves. They're told what to say. They parrot. They don't look. Ah, that is what I was told to go write about. That is what I was told to go do. Ah, uh, am I a good boy? We lost the battle, but I'm going to go out there. I'm going to go out there. I'm going to repeat the lies. Oh, man. 
It is... Um, right now, I'm just... And I love how it's constitution, constitution, it's unconstitutional. Saying it's unconstitutional does not make it fucking unconstitutional. All of a sudden, now, liberals care about the fucking constitution. Now they worried about budgets. I did not hear a fucking word out of these liberals when it came to it's unconstitutional when Obama banned Iraq refugees for six. No, what was that? 190 for six months. I think it was. They try to, what they're trying to do is wrap this around being a ban on Muslim. And right now, trending on Facebook is no Muslim ban. Cars running their mouth. Cars should be banned from the United States. They have ties to terrorist organizations, and they want to tell us what to do in this country. The only time we hear from Carr is when they want to scream at racism against the Muslims. Or when they want to stick up for their Muslim terrorist buddies. They would lump every Muslim together. Conservatives say there is a terrorist faction that we want to deal with so that the other Muslims can live in peace. I can differentiate. And I know some people will disagree with me on that, but it's my my opinion. They want to lump, and the liberals keep lumping everybody together. That's the funny part is they're, they're actually being racist about it because they're the one lumping everybody in. How to find a local protest against Trump's immigration order and fight back. It's... Uh, um, um, this is killing my brain cells. It really is. The liberalism is killing my brain cells. I can't keep up with the stupidity anymore. I really can't. You're listening to the Reverb of Common Sense right here on shrmedia.com. HPDailyNews.com and we will be as soon as I hit the button right back Listening to the SHR Media Network. 
breaking news. According to the latest report coming out of SHR Media, a merchandise store to support both the Reaver of Common Sense and SHR Media has just been unleashed to the general public. Be forewarned that this site can be contagious and numerous items can be purchased to support the best news programming. Go to Reaver.one website and click on the store link to check out the merchandise. We were a common sense hosted by my dad, Jersey Joe. Beware, the Jersey Takeover is here. Every Monday through Friday, 11 a.m. to 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, you can catch the Reaver of Common Sense show hosted by Jersey Joe. Right here on shrmedia.com and hyphensdailynews.com. Only Jersey can deliver hell like no one else. So consider this your fair warning. In a world controlled by corrupt politicians. You got a business. That You didn't build that. A team of ordinary men emerge from the ashes to give voice to the voiceless and hope to the hopeless. Sackhead Sean. Dude, I'm not saying Cap from a stupid pro. Sackhead Clint. All good friends of ours usually show, show up drunk. drunk. Also starring Sako as the producer. I'm a little bit drunk, I'm a little bit drunk, cause I'm drinking, drinking, drinking. They are the Sackheads Radio Show. Every Wednesday at 8 p.m. Pacific on shrmedia.com. Every Wednesday night, 8 p.m. to 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, you can catch the Southside Mutt Show with its host, the Jersey Boys, Jersey Joe and Crash, right here on SHR Media and High Plains Pundit Radio, where we will be digging up the dirt. Times are dark. The people misled by corrupt politicians, lied to by establishment media, and deceived by the false messages of Islam. A nation in confusion needs a guide. It needs a man with a cane. I'm Dave Milner. Join me on Spreaker, SHR Media, High Plains Talk Radio, Live Rebooting Liberty, and YouTube for a unique brand of commentary on the Unpleasant Blind Guy. Because truth is not always pleasant. If you miss a show, don't worry. You can catch the replays two ways, RebootingLiberty.com or the ReverbCommonSense.com. While you're there on Reverb Common Sense, don't forget, drop in your email and keep up to date on everything going on, or click the like button on the Facebook widget. Now on to the Reverb of Common Sense. This show contains language that some viewers may find offensive. Listener discretion is advised. And now on to the show. And welcome back to the Reaver of Common Sense. I am your host, Jersey Joe, and I'm trying to make sense out of the senseless. It really is not easy. Um, <laughs> the denial of facts. And I, I, I didn't notice the shooting in Quebec uh, you know I saw um, a tweet from Sackhead Sean and like he said me and him have talked about it several times we know what's going on when we hear about a shooting such as the mosque shooting and they slam it all over the press 
then all of a sudden, if that news feed goes dead, you know it was a Muslim shooter. Because when it's a, a a white man doing it, they'll keep going to prove, oh, oh look at this, it's a white Christian, they're killing everybody! Oh, crap, it's a Muslim again. Shh! Be very, very quiet. Maybe nobody will notice it. I'm serious, both me and Sackhead Sean have talked about this and length about it. Maybe the length is a little exaggeration, but... On several incidents, we have talked about it. As soon as we hear those words uttered, or the lack of words and the identity, well, we're getting a report to the... Oh. So, in other news today, we know it was a Muslim shooting. And that's what happened for I heard with this Quebec shooting. It was all over the news, and all of a sudden... Where did everybody go? A Muslim shooter. One of them. One of them is from Morocco. They even t- tried at first to tie this. This is Trump's fault. He calls this his ban on Muslim. It's causing a, a this effect, causing the racist to go out and shoot up. A, oh, wait a minute. Um. In other news today. They don't come out and apologize for their false assertion. No. They wouldn't do that. On different news, I got it. Um, the All-Star game, and they had Justin Bieber playing in it. And Chris Pronger friggin' check Beaver, and they got a pit, picture of Beaver pushed up against the glass as Pronger, the great Chris Pronger, checks him. Actually, let me get back on track here, because I've been all over, and I know. It, it just, oh. It's absolutely ridiculous. It's ridiculous, I tell you. The executive order to block temporary stop is a security measure. It's not xenophobia. This is so we can look a little bit more in depth about the vetting process. We're vetting people that there's nothing to back up the claims of these people. They could tell us they're J. Edgar Hoover, and we couldn't disprove it. Because in my America, in my country, we worry about keeping our citizens safe as opposed to someone's feelings getting hurt. And this goes out to Ashton Kutcher. I said it earlier, and I'll say it again. When you open your gates... You know, those gates and that security you live behind. And you let people walk in your house freely. Then come talk about the security of the country. Because President Trump is doing no more No more than what these celebrities do for their own house. He's doing it for the country. And here's my question, because you got people that are in this country because they are afraid something's going to happen to them in their own country. Oh, my God. Just because he doesn't have an English name doesn't mean he's a Muslim. 
Oh my god. Oh, these people. Yeah, I saw Canada's offering uh, to house all the people America turns away. We'll take your... Oh my god. I gotta find that article. Where'd it go? I, 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 and this stupidity of people. It is, you know what, I'm not even going to. Hold on one second. simpletons i get a response after i put in that someone posted it not to mention the killers are men most likely white seems to be a pattern here so i put that i did not know that muhammad was a white name and the shooter was from morocco and this idiot one just because he doesn't have an english name doesn't mean he's muslim and the other shooter is the other shooter i never said anything about muslim in the tweet. Never. <laughs> yeah, and yelled Allah Akbar. But no, no. Denial. Denial, denial, denial. It, my head hurts. My head really hurts. The stupidity of the left is really getting bad. And maybe the stupidity, they'll stop breathing in, in themselves into existence and we won't have to deal with them anymore. Because we know that we cannot deal with facts towards these idiots. It's unbelievable. We got someone that's actually doing what he says he's going to do. He was elected on this. And I, can you send me an article, a link to an article on this? I, I, my answer is always the same. 
Google.com. It's that simple. Google.com. Oh, God, my head hurts. My head really hurts. All the left has is lies and denial of facts. And I know everybody uses that word so much anymore. I get so tired of it. Because everything's a fact nowadays. Fact, 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 fact. It, it, I never seen in my lifetime people wanting to protect such an evil, disgusting group in my life. Everybody likes to jump to the Nazism and all that. I compare this extreme, terroristic Muslim groups. I compare that to what what is um, to Nazism. And I know there were some that sympathized with Nazism at one point. But I will not stand by and watch as these groups It's maybe I because I, I I've seen the history and I know the outcome when it came to Nazism. But to be living in it nowadays and witnessing people trying to protect and stand up for this extreme Muslim terrorist boggles my mind. And that's what the liberals are doing, whether intentionally, unintentionally, inadvertently. They're protecting that group. They don't allow any discussion to happen because as soon as you try to have a discussion, done. Uh, 
I just I, that boggles my mind. You're listening to the Reaver of Common Sense right here on shrmedia.com, hpdailynews.com, and we will be right back. Breaking news. According to the latest report coming out of SHR Media, a merchandise store to support both the Reaver of Common Sense and SHR Media has just been unleashed to the general public. Be forewarned that this site can be contagious and numerous items can be purchased to support the best news programming. Go to Reaver.one website and click on the store link to check out the merchandise. We were a common sense hosted by my dad, Jersey Joe. Beware, the Jersey Takeover is here. Every Monday through Friday, 11 a.m. to 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, you can catch the Rework Common Sense Show hosted by Jersey Joe. Right here on shrmedia.com and highplainsdailynews.com. Only Jersey can deliver hell like no one else. So consider this your fair warning. In a world controlled by corrupt politicians. You got a business. That You didn't build that. A team of ordinary men emerge from the ashes to give voice to the voiceless and hope to the hopeless. Sackhead Sean. Dude, I'm not saying cat from a stupid pro. Sackhead Clint. All good friends of ours usually show, show up drunk. drunk. Also starring Sako as the producer. I'm a little bit drunk, I'm a little bit drunk, cause I'm drinking, drinking, drinking. They are the Sackheads Radio Show. Every Wednesday at 8 p.m. Pacific on shrmedia.com. Every Wednesday night, 8 p.m. to 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, you can catch the Southside Mutt Show with its hosts, the Jersey Boys, Jersey Joe and Crash, right here on SHR Media and High Plains Pundit Radio, where we will be digging up the dirt. Times are dark. The people misled by corrupt politicians, lied to by establishment media, and deceived by the false messages of Islam. A nation in confusion needs a guide. It needs a man with a cane. I'm Dave Milner. Join me on Spreaker, SHR Media, High Plains Talk Radio, Live Rebooting Liberty, and YouTube for a unique brand of commentary on the Unpleasant Blind Guide. Because truth is not always pleasant. If you miss a show, don't worry. You can catch the replays two ways, RebootingLiberty.com or the ReverbCommonSense.com. While you're there on Reverb Common Sense, don't forget, drop in your email and keep up to date on everything going on, or click the like button on the Facebook widget. Now on to the Reverb of Common Sense. This show contains language that some viewers may find offensive. Listener discretion is advised. And now on to the show. And welcome back to the Reaver of Common Sense. I am your host, Jersey Joe, and I'm making sense out of the senseless. 
Uh, I I'm, I know I'm stammering and stuttering all over the place. There is an evil that is sweeping through this world. Oh. It And I cannot believe number 1 that I would be seeing it in my lifetime. Or number 2 that there would be so many <coughs> trying to protect it. Jeez, I, uh, my mind is in a boggle. That so many people are trying to shield this evil. And just uh, 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 this is not a blast of all Muslims. And yes, I do agree with the fact that it's it's kind of scary that the religion of peace. I don't think has ever seen peace. <clears throat> I've looked through <clears throat> history and the religion of peace has been at war probably for its whole existence. So excuse me if I do not fall into the category of leaving just because I was told that it's a religion of peace. I'm going to just fall and believe. Because the proof says they're not. Proof tells me that they're they're not going to be happy until they are the only group in existence. Um... <clears throat> If I offend people would what I say, oh well. If we offend people, and no, it's not. Listen, we've tried ignoring them. That didn't stop them. Because I keep hearing, oh, if we don't talk about them, it won't give them power. If we don't this, uh, if we don't fight them, it won't give them power. If we don't do this, it won't give them power. If we don't, Bullshit. That has allowed him to create more power. The liberals have just not wanted to deal with it. 
because they know how messy it is. And it's easier to ignore than to step up and do what needs to be done. Um, I don't know. I don't think... Anything we're doing... We got to change courses. We have to change the course that we've been on. We had more success when we were hitting this head on. It's when we decided we didn't want war anymore and it allowed it to grow bigger. And it grew nastier. You don't stop treatment halfway through the treatment. When you're treating something as disgusting as cancer, you don't stop midway through. Just because you find it offensive. We need to, the war in the Middle East is never going to end. And we need to, as a country, separate ourselves from the Middle East as much as possible. And that includes the oil. You take away the money from the Middle East, from these princes and the countries, and you'll starve These terrorist groups. We take away the funding from the UN. There will be some innocents that die. Yes, I understand that. Innocents are dying one way or another. We take away our support. And close off the Middle East from America. It'll cut a lot of the problem. I'm not saying ban Muslims. We take our support away from the Middle East. Yeah, it might piss off a couple allies a little bit. If they can't understand why we would be doing it. then maybe they're not such a great ally to have. And Schumer just, oh my freaking God, that fake crying he did on camera. Almost like Obama that one day when um, he gave that press conference and he kept rubbing his eyes. Kept rubbing his eyes. Until he started crying. (laughs) Poor, poor Muslims. 
<laughs> oh my god. Fuck them. I carry, or I care about, and I don't give a shit what religion you follow, the citizens in the United States that want freedom, that want safety. That's who I want to protect right now. So this temporary stoppage, dropping the numbers back down to what they were before. And the only reason why Obama bumped them up. So when Trump dropped them, the media could cry. Four months before he goes out of office, he goes and stirs up. It, 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 it. I mean, the only ones that are too dumb to see what's going on, it seems, are the liberals. It's unbelievable. The fake news that's coming out of the left. If it wasn't for fake news, CNN would probably be out of business. Unbelievable. And then you have Iran, who just test-fired a ballistic missile. Yes, lifting those sanctions was such a great idea, Obama. And John Kerry, you fucking mental midgets. And if the Middle East was so worried about the Middle East, more of those countries would be helping out. Now they making their billions on our backs with the oil while we fight their wars for them. The brain goes numb after a while to this idiocy. Seriously, it's it's the same rhetoric over and over again by the left. How do you repackage it into a show when it's the same bullshit time and time and time and time again? This fake news. It, it's just, it's a Muslim ban. No, it's not a Muslim ban. We're just stopping some uh, influx until we get a better handle on what's going on. And like I said, the celebrities that sit behind their walls don't impress me that they're out there giving speeches, banging on the tables, and my country, my country. Get out from behind your wall. Open it up. You're listening to the Reaver of Common Sense right here on shrmedia.com, hpdailynews.com. We will be right back.
listening to the SHR Media Network. Breaking news. According to the latest report coming out of SHR Media, a merchandise store to support both the Reaver of Common Sense and SHR Media has just been unleashed to the general public. Be forewarned that this site can be contagious and numerous items can be purchased to support the best news programming. Go to Reaver.one website and click on the store link to check out the merchandise. We were a common sense hosted by my dad, Jersey Joe. Beware, the Jersey Takeover is here. Every Monday through Friday, 11 a.m. to 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, you can catch the Rework Common Sense Show hosted by Jersey Joe. Right here on shrmedia.com and highplainsdailynews.com. Only Jersey can deliver hell like no one else. So consider this your fair warning. In a world controlled by corrupt politicians. You got a business. That You didn't build that. A team of ordinary men emerge from the ashes to give voice to the voiceless and hope to the hopeless. Sackhead Sean. Dude, I'm not saying Cap from a stupid pro. Sackhead Clint. All good friends of ours usually show, show up drunk. drunk. Also starring Sako as the producer. I'm a little bit drunk, I'm a little bit drunk, cause I'm drinking, drinking, drinking. They are the Sackheads Radio Show. Every Wednesday at 8 p.m. Pacific on shrmedia.com. Every Wednesday night, 8 p.m. to 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, you can catch the Southside Mud Show with its host, the Jersey Boys, Jersey Joe and Crash, right here on SHR Media and High Plains Pundit Radio, where we will be digging up the dirt. Times are dark. The people misled by corrupt politicians, lied to by establishment media, and deceived by the false messages of Islam. A nation in confusion needs a guide. It needs a man with a cane. I'm Dave Milner. Join me on Spreaker, SHR Media, High Plains Talk Radio, Live Rebooting Liberty, and YouTube for a unique brand of commentary on the Unpleasant Blind Guy. Because truth is not always pleasant. If you miss a show, don't worry. You can catch the replays two ways, RebootingLiberty.com or the ReverbCommonSense.com. While you're there on Reverb Common Sense, don't forget, drop in your email and keep up to date with everything going on, or click the like button on the Facebook widget. Now on to the Reverb of Common Sense. to the SHR Media Network. This show contains language that some viewers may find offensive. Listener discretion is advised. And now on to the show. And welcome back to the Reaver of Common Sense. I am your host, Jersey Joe, and I'm making sense out of the senseless. Not today. Not today, Ed. It's can't understand it. 
And you have a couple Democrats coming out there, and it's they're beating the election drum for 2020, and that's all they're doing. And it, you would think... I, I, I don't know what the hell they're thinking. But you have Keith Ellison, who's running for uh, DNC uh, chair. And then... Trump can't deny this is the Muslim ban. No, it isn't. It's how many how many different ways do you have to say it? They can't fight it, so they have to demonize it. It, and they do it time and time again. They can't fight it. So they... They have to demonize. Sort of guns, they got to demonize. They can't actually uh, debate it. They got to demonize it. They can't win. So, on facts and reality... So they twist and have to lie and come up with, as they like to put it, fake news. It, it mind numbing it really is and Booker is another one Senator Cory Booker he's got enough friggin problems in New Jersey but he's too busy out there running his mouth trying to be Obama light and he doesn't have the demeanor. He doesn't have that swag that Obama had. Listen, love him or hate Obama, Obama had a swag to him. He knew how to talk to people. He knew how to rally people behind him. Again, love him or hate him, he had a talent. So, but... but Senator Cory Booker is trying to do that, and, and it's just not working. But he's out there doing the same thing. It's a Muslim ban. It's a Muslim ban. That's all they have. Push fake news. Push fake news. Over and over. That's all they have. Some people are really weird. Some people scare the shit out of me anymore. I I, I wonder about uh, the left sanity. Because I don't think it's existing anymore. I really don't. Damn it. I really wanted to get to... Um... 
the Obama lives. Oh, man. Shit I had up on that. And what's funny is it, it, it's DHS is vowing to enforce Donald Trump's executive order. They're doing their job. And I know the Supreme Court stepped in on a couple of the people that had passports and all that and allowed them to go through. Doesn't mean they're going to let everybody through. Uh, I can understand, all right, they, they had uh, visas to get in, so there's a fine line. Have you noticed that when he does these executive orders, in a matter of hours, they have protesters showing up? But this is all supposed to be spontaneous. There's nobody setting them up. There's no left-wing group setting up these protests, is there? Yeah. You don't have spontaneous protests like that that quick. And it's and it, time and time again, friggin' George Soros, they have them in government. They know when this stuff's going to go down, and they have professional protesters slash rioters, anarchists, and it came from uh, Veritas videos. They have people they know in towns all over America that they can contact and with a matter of minutes have people rally. All it takes is like 100 people showing up and they, they tweet out they're going to go do this and they, they can get people within an hour or two. And they talk about, the left talks about a, a foreign source trying to interfere in our government when you have the Democrats cried for several years about the Koch brothers. And that's a whole different conversation for another time because those cocksuckers weren't trustworthy. When they complained about the Koch brothers, at least the Koch brothers were, from my knowledge, Americans. Democrats are backed and pushed. Their little strings are uh, twitched by um, George Soros, a foreigner. A person who sold out his own people. Literally. He's the one pulling the strings and financing and trying to influence American election. Yeah, he may not be a nation like uh, Russia, but he is trying to influence our elections. And I don't hear a single Democrat crying their little eyes out over that. Because, well... They wouldn't bite the hand that feeds them now, would they? So, it, it, it's... What's good for one is good for both. And now you have a Times columnist, an author of Indian Nights, who's pretty much going to be under investigation. Friggin' Secret Service, I feel sorry for him. I really do. Because they are busy as hell, this presidency. Because you have another idiot uh, journalist, liberal, the peaceful group, calling for an assassination of Trump. I never seen so many peaceful people, I say that sarcastically, making so many violent comments. So excuse me if I don't believe your rhetoric 
the scary part is, I don't even think you believe your own rhetoric anymore. The party of peace, the party of choice, the party of tolerance is not peaceful, is not tolerant, and has no choices. Mainstream media can't wrap around, get their minds wrapped around why no one trusts them. And yet they still keep doing the same thing over and over and over again. Democrats can't understand why they lost so many elections over and over and over again. And they keep going down the path they've been going down. And they think they're justified on the numbers from the election. That's a false number. And with that, it's coming up on that time. I want to thank everybody, and I really do mean thank you. I do. I'm humbled. I am humbled by you listeners. It it humbles me. And thank you. I will be back tomorrow right here on SHR Media and HPDailyNews.com. Till tomorrow at 11 o'clock, have a great day. You've been listening to the Reverb Common Sense with its host, Jersey Joe. You can tune in every day, Monday through Friday, 11 a.m. to 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, right here on hbpundit.com and shrmedia.com.